Hello, my name is Rick Baer. I'd like to introduce you to an extraordinary gentleman by the name of Hans Krauss. Hans was the uh, project director on the uh, Saudi Aramax project, which is really where the safety practice came alive uh, inside of JMJ. You and I had a conversation. As I recall, you and I had a conversation and uh, together we decided this is the time to take a stand and let's see what we can do mm. uh, in terms of uh, achieving world-class safety performance. With all the obstacles we had in front of us, again, we had new technology, it was a first venture of Chevron into Saudi Arabia after Aramco days in the 80s, in the early 80s. Um, but we said, let's just take a stand. I took a stand, uh, made a commitment that let's have an injury-free project. Uh, we don't know how we're going to get there, uh, but let's use the JMJ, high, uh, not the high-performance team process, but the, the incident and injury-free process and to help us along uh, and, and see where that takes us. Hans, uh, what, are, what are a couple of things that really stand out when you reflect back on that project? We were truly sincere about their well-being. We wanted them to go home safely. And, and they gave us feedback, as you recall, yeah. we got feedback from the workforce. What's really critical mm -hmm. about implementing incident injury free? What would you focus on? What, do you, what should one pay attention yeah. to? The critical things um, that I see on a contractor side aren't really all that much different mm. uh, than, yeah. than what I see on the owner side. Uh, because it's all about relationships. Uh, it's about partnerships. Uh, leadership um, from the top on down and it has to start from the top but it has to cascade down into the organization and that's really no different in a contractor world uh, except I think it is more difficult to achieve that in a contractor world why is because from a contractor perspective cost and schedule are extremely important because if you do not make a profit on on a project you could go bankrupt you can't you can't tolerate too many busts Every company has their own approach. We're all after the same thing, is to protect people, protect the environment, uh, send people home safely, but we have different approaches on how to get there without hurting anyone and still achieve the cost and schedule. Cool, cool. Well, thanks for sharing those insights, Hans. All right, thank you very yeah, much. Cheers. Great.